When there is no light in the room, we do not see anything. The moment you turn on the light, things become visible. What is it about objects that let us see them? Why do we see the bed, or a laptop, or a table? If an object does not emit its own light, it must reflect light in order to be seen. The walls in the room that you are in, do not emit their own light, they reflect the light from the torch. The light from the torch allowed to see so many things in the room, mainly because of the reflection of light from the objects that detected by the human eye. In the last video, we discussed about luminous and non-luminous objects. As you know that the objects like sun, candle, bulb, and firefly that can emit light by themselves. So, these are known as luminous objects. The objects like table, flower vase, person, and books do not emit light and are known non-luminous objects. How do we perceive these objects? The answer is reflection of light from these non-luminous objects. In this video, we try to understand the reflection of light. Reflection can happen in two quite different ways. One is regular or specular reflection and another one is irregular or diffusive reflection. Let us learn more about these. Specular or regular reflection is the mirror-like reflection of rays of light. Specular reflection is defined as light reflected from a smooth surface at a definite angle. In such a type of reflection, if a ray of light could be observed approaching and reflecting off of a smooth mirror, then the behavior of the light as it reflects would follow a predictable law known as the law of reflection. What is the law of reflection? If you observe a single ray of light approaching and bouncing off a flat mirror, you can always tell how the reflected light ray will behave, what direction would it go, and at what angle. This is basically what the law of reflection is all about. Here's a diagram to help you visualize the law of reflection a bit better. In the diagram, the light ray approaching the mirror is known as the incident ray, while the one that bounces off the mirror is called the reflected ray. Note that at the point where the incident ray meets the smooth mirror, a straight line can be drawn perpendicular to the surface of the mirror. This line is called the normal. Now, the angle that the incident ray makes with the normal is called the angle of incidence, while the angle that the reflected ray makes with the normal is known as the angle of reflection. The law of reflection simply states that both of these angles have the same value. For instance, if the angle of incidence is 45 degrees, the angle of reflection will also be 45 degrees. The law of reflection also states that when a light ray is incident on a plane surface, then the incident ray, the reflected ray and the normal to the surface of the smooth mirror all lie in the same plane. Reflection from smooth surfaces such as mirrors or a calm body of water leads to a type of reflection known as specular reflection. Let us learn about other type of reflection called irregular or diffused reflection. Diffused reflection is a non-mirror-like reflection of light. In such a type of reflection rays of light that hit an irregular object with a rough surface are reflected back and scatter in all directions. Here. The incident ray which is reflected along with reflected ray doesn't have the same angle to the normal as the incident ray. Most everyday objects exhibit diffuse reflection because of the tiny imperfections on the surface of the material. Reflection from rough surfaces such as cloth, paper, and wavy water leads to a type of reflection known as diffuse reflection. To see more videos like this and please consider subscribing.